Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. This is part one of three of our series on digital I.O. To interface with the outside world, the AKD has digital inputs and digital outputs, and depending on how we set them up, we can change the function of the drive. The standard AKD has seven programmable inputs and two programmable outputs. There are also dedicated inputs for enable, and a dedicated relay output for faults. Digital inputs 1 and 2 are high-speed inputs that have an update rate of 2 microseconds. Because of their high speed, they are used for latching functions such as position capture. Digital inputs 3 to 7 are standard inputs with an update rate of 250 microseconds. All of the inputs are programmable through the Workbench software and can be sourcing or seeking. Keeping in mind, you must choose which you want them to be based on the input device. Remember to think continuity. Each programmable input can be set to one of many different mode types. Because there are so many, I'm going to take a few on which to focus. Things that are common to all inputs are the param column, filter, and polarity. The param will hold the specific value depending on the mode selected. Filter allows the inputs to be controlled to prevent double triggering if the signal should bounce, such as a mechanical switch might do. End of travel limits, or EOT, are very common in applications. Digital inputs 6 and 7 will be set up for travel limits. Input 6 will be set to mode 18 positive travel limit switch, and input 7 will be set to mode 19, negative travel limit switch. EOTs are usually normally closed and will be set when open. Input 5 is set to mode 6, start jog, and the param area becomes available. The param will be set to the jog speed desired. The filter can be adjusted if desired and the switch polarity inverted as well. Ooh, you can see the inputs have a lot of different modes available, and there are many more we didn't cover in this segment. Look for part two to continue your journey. Just remember, there's a lot of good information available in our help screen, and don't forget your distributor and Cole Morgan technical support. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I'll see you in our next segment.